Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is G.R. Legrand, or Robert for short. Uh, today I wanted to take a look at um, importing characters, 3D characters, into book covers for digital publishing specifically. Um, and you know, if you, if you don't have any experience in 3D programs, don't worry about it. The one I'm, I'm going to focus on today is uh, a relatively very inexpensive uh, piece of software. Um, it's very forgiving and um, you can learn it pretty quickly. Uh, um, in front of you, you see uh, my first three parts of uh, my novel. It's a, in a serial uh, format. Um, and the first two book covers I did uh, by myself, and the third one I had I was a collaboration with a friend of mine. Uh, I provided her with the characters, and she did the uh, background. Um, so, as you can see, you can get some pretty good results. Uh, these are a little bit more complex. Um, things I did, I, I posed the character, painted on a an outfit, and then composited into uh, Photoshop and did all this other stuff. So it's a lot of um, different parts, but today we're just going to take a look at this piece of software itself and getting a quick good result from, you know, not even having to spend a dime and uh, you know just to just to get an idea of of how to you know pose a character you know take your camera get a render put it into photoshop and uh, put a title and get some quick results that's pretty much it so let's get started uh, i'm using a program called daz studio um, you can get it off of uh, this website, daz3d.com. Um, they make the software. It's similar to a poser software. Um, and they also make the content that goes in it. Uh, so characters, clothing, hair, all that kind of stuff. Um, so they offer the uh, software for free, and you can download it, and it comes with a few basic um, characters and clothing uh, to get you started and that's what we're going to use today so let's get started uh, I've opened up the software and sometimes it'll create a character for you um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that I suggest you do the same uh, for a reason and I'll explain it a little in a little bit make sure you're here on the actors wardrobe and props section and uh, click here on figures and this will give you all the basic figures that it comes with um, uh, this these last four are ones I've installed uh, separately these are ones that I got at a different time but I mean come on a a dragon okay I got that for free one time on the website there's no reason why you shouldn't be doing this. Okay, uh, we're gonna create a. We're gonna use the Genesis two base female. Just double click, and it puts the uh, character there. Now, the reason why I had to delete the um, character that it first creates is because once something is selected, every other um, Anything that doesn't apply to it will disappear from this list. If I deselect it, see how everything comes back? And I reselect it, it all disappears. So if you're new to this, uh, you're not used to that, that could be extremely confusing. So just thought I'd let you know. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is um, let's, let's put some clothes on her. She looks a bit cold. Let's go to wardrobe. And I'm going to use this uh, this belly dancer outfit. Again, double click, and it'll apply. 
Um, now I'm going to go to some hair. It only comes with, you know, two very basic things. I'm just going to go ahead and select one. There we go. Uh, okay, materials. Um, I'm going to go with... This is really not necessary, but I, I really love green eyes, so I'm going to put green eyes on her. All right, now let's go to poses. All these poses come free when you download the software, so it's a great starting point. They've got a lot of different things, you know, sitting, kneeling, laying down, uh, standing poses, something that, that could really kind of get you started. I'm going to go with... Uh, I'm going to go with this one. And then camera controls are all right here. Uh, orbit, move, um, zoom, and this is for um, framing the object you have selected or aiming at it. Uh, for now, we're just going to focus with these three here. Um, this is also a camera movement. You can click and drag to uh, orbit the camera. Um, and what I like to do is I like to get my perspective view uh, in a in a basic area where I want where I want to you know have my camera set up uh, so that when I create my camera I can select this viewport as the basis to create it. Uh, so let's go right there and then. Uh, we're going to skip over this pose and animate just for simplicity's sake. Let's go straight to um, lights and cameras. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to create and then new camera. And right here, apply viewport transform. So basically it'll take my viewport and create the camera exactly where I have it, which is exactly what I want. Um, now in order to give it a little bit more perspective I'm going to change the focal length to about 50 I didn't see it update because we didn't have it selected there we go and see if you I'm going to go with maybe 45 and then zoom in a little bit and then move it up right about there and then next we want to create a light uh, so I'm going to go back to my perspective view and there you see the camera and I'm going to position the light right about here uh, right about here I'm going to move away and then go to create uh, I'm going to do a spotlight and then again I'm going to choose this and accept um, now you see these this center circle is where the, the the light is the hottest or the the brightest and then it begins to fade out from this distance until it's completely dark at this distance that other line out here so you can tighten that up uh, if you like I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as is for now um, but what I am going to do is go to lights here Spotlight 1 is selected. I'm going to change the color to maybe something warm. And then go here, select the camera view. That's right around where I like it. And then go to the render tab. 
Now it jumped back here to the perspective view. Uh, let's go back to camera view. Now this box here that's showing is our current render setting. So if I were to render it out, this is what it's going to uh, reveal. And that's not exactly what I want. The recommended uh, settings for a book cover in the Kindle store is 1000 pixels by 1600 pixels. So what I like to do, uh, make sure to constrain proportions is off. So I like to double it. So 2000 by 3200. Uh, and then zoom out a bit here. Now if you want, you can go ahead and make sure there's enough room on top and bottom for um, a title and author, but if you like, uh, you can make it as big as, as, big as you want, uh, and then we can move it in Photoshop. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, because making things bigger is not recommended, making things smaller is preferred. All right, we're going to go with that. And then I like to select new window so that I can choose to save it or not, rather than just putting in a name. Uh, so let's see. Everything's set. I'd like to keep it at uh, best quality so I can get an idea of what it's going to look like exactly. Um, oh, one thing we forgot. Uh, lights. Make sure that you have the spotlight selected on the light tab. Um, shadow. Uh, deep shadow map is okay for a pretty quick render and a general idea, um, but they don't always work well. Um, and sometimes they're not believable. Um, use them with caution, always kind of take double check, uh, it'll leave certain seams um, unshadowed with a light where there shouldn't be a light. So the best overall quality is ray traced, um, I've found. So it does take a lot longer to render, but the results are generally better. And for something like this, it's only going to take maybe a minute to render versus maybe 10 seconds with, a, with the uh, shadow map but uh, it's a much better quality. So let's use that. The background color is not what I'm looking for. I completely forgot to change it, um, but that's good because you need to know how to change it. Um, what you see in the background is, is the color it's going to come out with. Um, I want something just basic, uh, so we're gonna do this on a black background. Uh, just to give it a little, you know, just a single point of light, uh, black background, a lot of mystery to it. So if you right click on this um, top icon here and uh, go to background color and just, you know, bring that all the way down, hit select, and then render.